So the first lick we have. So we're going to go from that 7 to the 9 of the G. Right to the 8 of the B. Back to the 9 of the G. Now once we go to the 9 of the G, we're going to hit the 10 of the B. And we're going to give that a bend. And we'll do that twice. Now we're going to stay on the 10 of the B and we're going to pre-bend that. And as soon as we hit that and release it, we're going to pull off to the 8, down to the 9 of the G, and then back to the 8 of the B, to the 9 of the G again, and back to the 8 of the B. So. Okay, so it's just kind of back and forth once you do the little pre-bend. Now we're going to go to the 10 of the high E. We'll give that a full bend. And then come right back to just a regular 10. And then we'll hit the 12. Now the next lick, we're going to go from the 10 of the B. And we're going to slide to the 12. And then we're going to pick the 11 of the B. And we're going to slide to the 10 and pull off into the 8. So we have this so far. Now we'll go to the 10 of the B, to the 9 of the G, to the 8 of the B. Okay, and then now we're going to go to the 10 of the B, slide to the 11 back to the eight of the B and hammer. So all that together. The next lick we're gonna start on the 10 of the B and we're gonna hammer pull from the 11 back to the 10. So, so we'll go 10, 11, 10 on the B. And we're going to go to the 12 of the G. Now we'll go the, back to the 11 of the B. And then to the 9 of the G. And then to the 12 of the G. So we put those together. Okay, so we're going to start on the 15 of the G. And we're going to hammer that to the 16. Then we'll go to the 15 of the B, the 17 of the B, 15 of the high E, 17 with a bend on the high E, to just the 17. Okay? And now we're going to take the 15 of the high E, and we're going to hammer pull from the 17th fret. Okay? So we're just going to go 15, 17, 15. And right after that, we're going to slide down to the 13. Okay. Now we'll go back to the 15th fret. And this is a little hard for me to hear. It kind of, it's kind of like an exclamation at the end of the lick. He either kind of slides to 17 with a little bend or maybe the 18th fret. So this lick should sound like this. Okay, the next lick we're going to start on the 15 of the B, and we're going to hammer to the 18, and then we're going to go to the 15 of the high E, and then to the 18 of the high E. Now we have another little hammer pull section here, a little legato. Now we're going to go 17 of the high E to 18 to 17 to 15. So we have a hammer, a pull, and a pull. Okay, now we're going to go to the 18 of the B, pull that off to the 15, 
and then jump to the 17 of the high E. Now we'll go 15 of the high E, and we're going to hammer pull to the 17 back to the 15. So all together so far, we should have this. Okay, and now we're gonna to finish out this lick, we're gonna go to the 18 of the B and give that a little little quarter bend up to the 15 of the high E, and then back to the 18 of the B. And we'll go from that 18 of the B and we're gonna pull off to the 15. Okay, the next lick we're going to start on the 17 of the G, and we're going to go from the 17 of the G, and we're going to slide to the 18 and slide right back to the 17. And after we slide from the 17 to the 18 back to the 17, we're going to pull off to the 15. Now we're going to go right back to the 17 of the G, and then to the 15 of the G. Now we'll go 17 D. 15D, and now we're just going to jump uh, right over to the 15 of the A, give that a little bend, to the 13 of the A, and then to the 12 of the G, and to the 14 with a bend. Okay? So what we have is this. Okay, the next lick we're going to start on the 15 of your B, and then we're just going to kind of jump right up to the 15 of your high E. And then we'll go to the 18 of the high E. We'll give that a full bend. And then come right back to an 18. Now we'll go to the 15 of the high E to the 15 of the B again. So we're just kind of making our way up and making our way right back down. Now, right after that, we're going to go to the 18 of the G, and we're going to uh, just slide that right down to the 17 of the G, and then to the 15. So we'll have this so far. Now we'll go to the 17 of the D, to the 17 of the A, to the 15 of the A. Now we're going to go to the 13 of your A, slide it to the 14, up to the 12 of your G, to the 15 of the G, sliding up to the 16. So the next lick, we're going to slide to the 12 of your G. And th this was a little hard for me to make out too, but it's a really big slide. So I think maybe he's just starting from really low. And as soon as he kind of hits that 12, he's launching right into the lick. So we're going to slide up to the 12 from the really big slide. And then right up we go to the 12 of the G, we're going to hit the 15 of the G. And then we're going to go to the 12 of the B. And now we'll have the 15 of the B. And we're going to have this little chromatic passage. Okay. And then we'll go back to the 15 of the B and to the 15 of the G with a bend. Okay, for the next lick, we'll go to the 12 of the G, right down to the 12 of the D, and then to the 10 of the D. And then we're going to give that, uh, play the 10 of the D again, and we're going to bend and release, and then uh, pull off into the 8. So, so far, like this. Now, from there, we'll go to the 10 of the D again, down to the 10 of the A, and then to the 8 of the D. And we'll give that a little bend.
So the next lick, we're going to start on the fourth fret of the G, slide it to the seven, and then we'll go to the six of the B. And we're going to go back and forth between the seven and the six like this. And then we're going to play the seven of the G and slide it to the nine. And we're going to play the eight of the B twice. And then come right back to the nine of the G. So together, that should sound like this. All right, the next lick, we're going to uh, start with the 15 of your B and the 14 of the G at the same time. Now, this is a little bit of a pre-bend on the 14, but we're going to let the 15 just stay. And so we're going to let that 14 fall. Into the, and we're going to pull that 14 of the G off into the 12 of the G. Now we're going to go back to the 14 of your G, to the 12 of the G, to the 15, back to the 12, play the 12 again, and we'll slide that down to the 10. So the next lick, we're going to start on the 13th fret of your B. Now, this is like one of the same kind of things we've done. So we're going to slide from the 13 to the 14, back down to the 13, and then pull off into the 11. So slide from the 13 to the 14, back to the 13, pull off on the 11. Okay. Now, as soon as we do that, we're going to jump down to the 12 of your G. Now we're gonna jump right back to the 13 of the B and we're gonna start a big walk down here. So we're gonna go 13 B, 11 B, 12 G, 10 G, 12 D, 11 D, 10 D. We're going to jump over to the A string and we're going to play the 13th fret of your A and we're going to slide it to the 14. And then we're going to pick the 12th fret of your G. Okay? So we have that. And we're going to bounce back and forth another time. So 13 to 14 of the A, 12 of the G, 14 of the A, back to the 12 of the G. Now we're going to go to the 11th fret of your B, hammer that to the 12, pick the 13, then we're going to go to the 10th fret of your high E, to back to the 11th of your B. Now we'll go to the 12 of your G, and we're going to pull off to the 10, and we're going to bounce to the uh, 12 of your D. Now, as soon as we play that 12 of the D, we're going to uh, slide that up to the 14. And then we'll play the 12 of the G twice. And now we're going to play the 15th fret of your G. Give that a little quarter bend. And then we're gonna go to the 13 of your B, to the 15 of your B, and then back to the 15 with a half bend. a great solo even if it seems really tough there's a lot of really good licks and tasty licks you can take and use so you know some of these that maybe really really speak to you take them and try to move them in different keys in different octaves and uh, you know just really try to help it level up your playing all right if you have any questions just let me know and i'll see you next time thanks mm -hmm.